I'm Scott with Prime Archery, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the technology behind our new inline can system. One of the things we've always tried to do at Prime is make sure that the loads on the cam are, are balanced. And the reason we do that is we're trying to eliminate cam lean, which we feel improves the tune of the bow. A good way to illustrate how we're doing that with the new inline cam system is to visualize a teeter-totter. So on a teeter-totter, let's say we have uh, two weighted boxes. And we'll say one of these boxes represents the string and the other one represents the cables acting on the bow. In the position here where the two boxes are about the same weight um, and they're about the same distance from the center point of the teeter-totter, uh, the teeter-totter balances. So this is like any typical cam system at Brace on any other manufacturer's bows. The problem though is when we start pulling the bow back. Um, in a typical compound bow, um, as you draw the bow back, uh, the load in the cable starts to go up and then the load in the string starts to go down. So to illustrate that on our little scale here, this time we're going to double the weight of the one box and we're going to half the weight of the other box. So clearly in this system, because the weights are so different now, this whole teeter-totter is, is not going to stay straight. It's going to tip. So this is the problem with the typical cam system on virtually everybody's bow. Um, every single person has the same problem. As long as the loads are changing from brace to full draw, you're always going to be struggling with trying to find that exact balance point because it the, technically changes. How we approach this with the inline cam system, as you draw our bow back, the cable force or our red box goes up and the string force goes down. But instead of leaving the boxes where they are, leaving the forces where they are, we actually slide the cable force over so that it centers a little bit more over the center of the teeter-totter. And because we've moved the position of the um, cable force, this uh, still balances. Back in 2011, uh, Prime introduced the parallel cam. And this was our first attempt at resolving that uneven load balance issue uh, with the cams. So whereas a typical cam system has the string in a single track and then the cable is usually off to the side, we developed a system in which the string track was split on either side of the cable. So our string straddled the cable track, which sat in the middle. Um, what that allowed at full draw, even though the string track loads went to close to zero and the cable track almost doubled the force on the cables. Because the cables were already being applied through the direct center of the cam, the cam balanced. So the question then um, somebody might ask is why would we do anything different? And I think that's a fair question. Um, the parallel cam, as effective as it is, it's complicated and it's big and it's heavy. And one of the things we recognize as a, a leader in the um, archery industry um, is that you know, for things that progress, things really should be getting simpler. Um, and we feel very strongly here that, you know, simplifying a system, presenting the, the system, if, there, if there's an easier, simpler way to do something, it's a better way. So now, uh, to talk about the inline cam system. So the inline cam system is very similar to a three-track binary cam system. In that, we have a string force and then we also have a power cable and a take-up cable. What's different is that at full draw, as you pull the bow back, the string force, just like with the typical uh, cam system, drops next to nothing, but then the cable forces are shifted over. As they increase, the main cable, uh, take-up cable force moves. It's actually shifted over to be over the top of the uh, center of the axle. And effectively, what that does is it maintains the balance um, throughout the draw cycle. So thank you for watching. Um, that I hopefully explains our new inline can system. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to um, our customer service or anyone in engineering. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck hunting.